Let's walk through the key components that make up a vector database architecture possible. On the left here, we have various client applications that users interact with to access functionality. This could include the SDK for languages like Python, Go, Rust, as well as a CLI and a web UI. These clients then connect to an HTTP proxy layer that handles request routing. That proxy would forward the API request to the gRPC service, and then that gRPC service is the core API endpoint that exposes the vector database system's capabilities over RPC. It handles things like create, search, insert, etc. When a search request comes in, the gRP service employs a query planner to optimize and dispatch the search across all relevant vector indexes and data shards and the vector indexes are where the magic happens and this allows ultra fast similarity search using algorithms like hnsw or pq and those indexes are shard sharded across the node so what this sharding does is it allows the indexes to scale horizontally as the data grows and then the index relies on uh, something like let's say rocks db for storage and then these background worker processes would handle the data ingestion, the index builds, and the replication shards across the nodes. And then finally, to synchronize the states across the nodes, there could be a consensus protocol like Raft, uh, and this would ensure uh, eventual consistency. So with the data replicated across the nodes, you have high availability and you have fault tolerance, and the system would stay operational. So this is a new style of system that is designed to work with AI services, recommendation engines, uh, also RAG for doing large language model services. Uh, and it's important to understand the key concepts so you can deploy this for your organization.